What's up gang, Case here with our at home strength work from Monday, March 15th. Three rounds today, 12 RDL, 12 split stance rows per arm, and then 12 bench dips. On those RDL today, hip width stance, toes straight forward. You got two dumbbells, you can hold one in each hand. Ideally, we're aiming for a weight that when we get to rep number 12, we're about two reps away from technical breakdown. If you don't have two dumbbells, then use one dumbbell and just hold a head of that single dumbbell in each hand. At the top, stand tall, pull those shoulders back and down so they're away from the ears keep that back and shoulder engagement and then last thing squeeze those ribs down so that that spine stays neutral so keeping that belly tight slight bend in the knee we're sending the hips back as far as we can fists stay right beneath the shoulders in the bottom our eyes are straight at the ground we're not looking forward but make sure we're not rounding out our back so keep that proud chest eyes at the ground, belly stays tight. You should not feel a strain in your low back. You should feel most of this tension through your belly, your butt, and your hamstrings. Squeeze to stand back to the top. No pause at the top today. Control the down, stand tall. Control the down, squeeze the hamstrings and the glutes to stand up. From there, we've got our split stance rows. Whichever arm you're pulling with, that foot's going to be back a bit. We can have a slight bend in our knees. Hip hinge is similar to that RDL. Neutral grip here. And then before we go, same thing. Make sure no strain in the low back. So squeeze that belly. That way we're supported uh, by those core muscles. Proud chest. Pull your elbow close to your side and as far behind you as you can, squeezing our lat, that big muscle down the side of our back as we pull, and then reaching that arm back to full extension every time. Same thing there. Once you get to rep number 12, you should be just a couple reps away from that technical breakdown. Finishing up with bench dips today, so putting that shoulder into a slightly different press position. Hips are gonna be just slightly forward of uh, the object that you're pressing off of. If you wanna make this motion a little bit harder, keep those legs straight out in front, hinging off that heel. Also, don't get so deep that you have pain in the shoulder. Get deep enough to where you feel a slight stretch, and then that tells you that you should be pressing back to the top. If you wanna make this motion a little bit easier, bend those knees, plant that full foot on the ground, and then you can use those feet a little bit more for assistance. Same thing there, adjust that lever length so that when you get to rep number 12, you've got just a couple reps left in the tank. Three rounds today, stick with the same weight across on your RDLs and your uh, split stance rows, and then get up to that 12 rep uh, with as much range of motion as you can manage. Also, one more point on those dips, Keep those elbows straight behind you as you pull. Don't let them flare out to the sides. Good luck on today's uh, strength work, and we'll see you back soon for our Metcon.